Okay, um, I am going to a video game con, um, and I'll be bringing a lot of things. I'll be bringing stuff like uh, a whole bunch of PS1 games, uh, with good titles, uh, a whole bunch of PS2 games, a lot of commons uh, that I'll be selling for like $4, uh, 3 for 10 and I'll be bringing a lot of stuff, but one of the things I'm going to bring um, to a video game con, and that happens this Saturday and Sunday. I finally got around to doing this. I've just been so busy. I, I wanted to get this collection together. Is um, what is going to be called the world's worst video game collection. I am going to feature this at um, videogame.com. And and when I first uh, had it, I was like, man, should I should I make like a special display case for this, or should I do something interesting? Uh, um, for these games, uh, display them in a certain way, and then I was like, nah, these games suck, so a shoebox is fine, and um, the only thing I have to do is I have to write on the box um, in several places not for kids, because um, the thing is, uh, I'm about to show these games, if you are easily offended by uh, profanity and dirty words, uh, then this, this isn't really going to be for you, because there are some of the games where there's curses, uh, written on, and I'll say them now, words like, uh, uh, get prepared, cover yours if you don't want to hear, hear this, uh, and I'll put my hand in when I'm, I'll go like this when I'm done, uh, with the dirty words, it will be words like, um, dicks, uh, vagina, and, uh, what else, asshole, so, there, I'm done, if you were just listening and not watching, if you turn your head away for a second, anyway, um, the world's worst video co uh, game collection, um, before I actually show these things, I just want to say one more thing, Again, appearing at a video game dot com. I will have them on the table. I may actually do um, reaction videos to when the people look at the video, the world's worst video game collection, and see what they think about it, and 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 uh, you know, let them put their two cents and input in it. That was a bug. I was just wafting away. Anyway, before I actually do this, um, this is my collection. This is taking me years to accumulate, and I have. Um, invested serious money into this uh, not serious money but I have bought some of the games on eBay because they are in such terrible condition and the, the reason I, I have these games is because I buy so many games that sometimes I just get these wacky games that are just horrible but anyway this is my collection I am not selling it uh, for any price so if you do come to the um, the video game con um, and you see these and you're like, I will offer you like $5,000 for this collection. I will say no. All right, uh, let me just get started. Um, some of the games that I have here are just in terrible condition. And that's why I have them. Uh, like this one, for example. This is just like a pathetically beat up game. Um, look at that. You know what I mean? It's just in terrible shape. Uh, but somebody still liked it and they wanted to make sure that nobody would steal it from them, right? So what they did was they wrote their name on it, Jonathan. Um, not that anybody couldn't tell if this game were stolen from them, that it came from Jonathan. And uh, Jonathan, all I have to say is uh, you should really take care of your stuff better. Jonathan O and Hook. All right, that's that's why that, that, that game. Some of the games are in here mainly for condition, but I have other reasons, you know. Uh, here's another one. Uh, and actually, most of these games I haven't even tried, right? Um, this one is a Mario Kart, but as you can see, like, it's, there, there's stuff going on with this one. It is very scuffed up, very dirty, very gross. Um, as I go through these games, um, I'm saving some for last that I, that I think are the most unique and unusual. But again, um, Justin owned this game, and he did not want anybody to take it away from him. It's a good game, um... But, Justin, if anybody did steal this, you would most likely be able to recognize this as yours being stolen. Um, oh, here's a Zelda. Now, it rattles, right? The reason this game is in this box is because this game was a severe disappointment to me. Um, I went to a yard sale, and um, this happened years, years ago. And this is when I first discovered that people were taking games out of their original cartridges and switching them. Um, like, so, this is not a Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past game. This is some kind of stupid sports game. I can't even remember, like a baseball or something. And uh, Kyle, the, that, um, that scum, <laughs> sold it to me. And I probably paid like 15 or, or whatever for it. But that's why it's in this box. Um, basically because if you had it out and your gamer friends came over and they'd be like, Dude! 
you got the Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I've been dying to play it, right? And then they, they put it in, and it would be some crap old game. It would, everybody would be really sad and disappointed. Um, I bought this. They told me it works, you know? Um, again, it's just where someone just has a beat-to-crap game, and I don't know. I, I guess this could be fixed and stuff like that. I, I, again, I've never tested it. Um, I think it moves around in here. Well, it looks crooked. If you, it's like you have to put it in your machine like this. It, it just looks crooked. Uh, I was told it works, though. Um, just another crap condition. Okay, this one. <laughs> uh, this one actually does work. <sighs> little bugs are flying on me. Look at that, little bugs. <sighs> Get out of here. All right. Uh, this one actually does work, but it's really gross. I, you know, it's like I almost don't even want to touch it. This is the kind of game that I don't know what would wear the gold off like that. Uh, it looks like it has some kind of cancer. I mean, the label looks okay. Um, yeah, this game should probably be on chemotherapy or something. But this one does work. It's just like, ugh. You know, like, can you imagine going like, yeah, I've been, and I swear to God, this collection has taken me years to accumulate. Can you imagine, like, uh, having your friends come over and they go like dude you got video games and you're like you whip these out and they're like you know Ugh, where did you find these like in the trash in the dumpster um oh and of course i had a nice really clean sleeve that i had this in to protect it from further wear all right um uh, check this out again this is another condition one all right now this doesn't work because i was desperate to know if if this taped together <laughs> controller uh, actually would work, but guess what? It, it doesn't. So, and I have no clue why someone put this much tape on it to hold it together. It was just like, well, I got. There's not that much tape left because you know when you look at a tape dispenser and you can't really tell how much tape is in there, and you think there's not that much. So maybe they're like, eh, I'll just use the tape and finish taping this. Um, so it's it won't fall apart again because I guess it would fall apart. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, there it is. Um, the cord's kind of gross, but for some reason, someone just put like uh, what looks to be near a whole roll of tape on that. When I mean, if it had been me, like maybe the person never heard of glue before, right? That's a possibility. But uh, and it's got weird hairs on it too. Gross. <laughs> I don't even want to say what those are. All right. Anyway. Um, Maybe the person never heard of glue. Don't know. But that's a lot of freaking tape. All right. Uh, what do we got left? Um, this one I did as kind of a prank. I was telling my friend that I got Earthbound <laughs> at a sale. And he was like, dude, really? You got Earthbound? I was like, yeah, serious. I got Earthbound. So what I did is I just took like a, a, a cartridge where the label was all screwed up. But again, this would be a disappointment game. This would be like you tell somebody, yeah, I got Earthbound, right? And you go and you, you give it to them. And they're like, they didn't make Earth, but anybody that knows anything would be like, they didn't make Earthbound on NES. That was a Super Nintendo, and I'd be like, what? You know. Anyway, all right. Moving on. Um, box is almost empty. I mean, these are the naughty ones. I'll save those for last. Uh, this game works fine, uh, and looks it sold somewhere for eighty nine cents. Probably it's worth like, I don't know, four bucks now. But this game has, for some reason, the words, you've been mulvinated on it. So I can't imagine why that has that, except for this. Um, I, I, my feeling is that this was John's game, and it looks like somebody named Mulvin wrote, John's a bitch, <laughs> on the game. And so when, when uh, John got his game back from Mulvin, he was like, what the F <laughs> is all as you've been mulvinated? And then he saw John's a bitch, and he was like, ah, crap, I've been mulvinated. Um, okay, here's another one that's, that's conditioned. Believe it or not, I um, saw this on a Facebook post as a listing in, um, on eBay as an auction, right? And it, it had a low bid, and I was like, oh, this, this is going to like fit right in with my collection, right? So I, to be I believe it or not, I paid about 20 bucks for this, uh, as is. And what I liked about it... Um, Besides the fact that for some reason someone just put like a ton, look, can, if you, can you see that? It's like, there's the board, and I've never tested this. They said it worked, but I'm like, who cares? It doesn't have to work. This is, this is almost art. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like someone with a lot of gaffer's tape, right? But I'll tell you what I like best about it. Besides the fact that they, they used cardboard, they wrapped it around, 
and then they wrap that sloppily with gaffer's tape, right? Um, my favorite part of this particular game is that they wrote Super Mario Kart and then front. <laughs> That's why you wouldn't be like, eh, the game's not working, you know? So it's like, front, you know? So there, that, that's what I liked about that. Um, this one has crudely drawn penises on it. Uh, this is my second, well, maybe, maybe a third favorite game or something. Uh, it has crudely drawn penises uh, on the front and back. And, and on the sides and top, it says, oh, here it is. It goes, you just touched... A bunch of dicks. <laughs> That's what I was saying. There would be some cursing in there. Profanity. Um, and, yeah, the, these are the, the profanity ones. Oh, no, you know what? I thought it was asshole, but it says bitch. So, the curse words in this video are bitch, dicks, and this masterpiece. Okay. This game is amazing. Um, because, <laughs> for some reason, someone wrote vagina all over it. And, and I mean all over. It's like vagina, 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 with a smiley face here. Um, vagina, 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 vagina. Oh, there's a fuck. Oh, you know, I didn't say fuck was going to be in there. I'm sorry. Vagina, vagina. Vagina, vagina. I don't want to show the back just yet, but uh, vagina, vagina, vagina. So, I don't know if anybody's seen the word, uh, no, the movie, uh, 23 with uh what's that guy uh oh god now see this is this is i'm not going to redo this whole video because i can't remember this guy's name but this is that comedian uh ace ventura pet detective um you can write it in in the comments or something i'll know as soon as i i f turn off the camera i'll remember his name anyway he did a movie called 23 and he became obsessed with the number with the number 23 and he wrote it all over there now i don't know what it says here i can't really make this out but basically, it says vagina all over the place, right? And it, when you flip it over, it still does say vagina, 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 vagina. But it also says, and look, in, even inside the hole, it says vagina. <laughs> this is just hysterical, you know? Can you just imagine, like, you borrow this game or, or you lend this game to someone and this is what you get back? You'd probably want to kill them. But this is, this is my favorite. This is almost penis head-shaped, right? And right there, it says insert dick here. There it goes. That is my collection of the world, the world's, uh, the world's, <coughs> I almost choked on it. <coughs> the world's worst video game collection. Uh, it's always growing. I will be adding to it. Uh, if anybody has anything that they'd like me to add to it, mm, I would be happy to. It will be appearing at a video game.com. And uh, then some of the other stuff, you know, like I said, I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff. <clears throat> some of the other stuff that I'm going to bring is I'm going to have this, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to uh, sell this, but this is uh, James the Angry Video Game Nerd. I actually traded someone for this, so I'm going to put it out there, and probably what's going to happen is uh, James the Angry Video Game Nerd is going to be at the, oh, uh, geez, what is it? Check that out. No, that it's A V G C A V G A V G N will be at A V G C. Anyway, uh, what I imagine is going to happen. Oh, oh, let me tell you the backstory. I traded this uh, with a kid. He said he had it. He didn't care about it. I traded him some games for it. So now, now it's mine, right? It's not part of my world's worst collection. I just keep it because you know, <clears throat> who else signs video games? Don't know uh, that I would have possession. Anyway. Uh, I imagine what's going to happen with this game, since uh, James, the angry video game nerd, will be there, is that he will be walking around, he will see this, and go, oh my god, you know, this was mine, I signed it for some kid, right? And then we would become friends and hang out together. That's, that's what I'm hoping will happen out of that. And then here's something else I do occasionally. A lot of times, I do not, or I get no-label games, right? So what I've started doing, and actually I haven't done it in a while, I've just been too busy, is I've started drawing in on post-it notes and then covering that with tape, um, the covers. So I did it twice here, and you could see it's not a reprint because they're they're different. Side by here, side by side. They're slightly different. And I did it for silver. I do, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it with like loose discs and put them in like CD cases or something because I do have some slight artistic ability. And there's Crash, uh, Bandicoot Purple. And I'll probably, I think what I'll do is I'll probably put this, this one was pink and it looks like it's fading. Uh, this was owned by Marcos. I probably will put prices on these and I, this is something I might do. And also I might have some uh, cartoon. Actually, I have, I'm gonna have like one cartoon at the convention. 
that I'll be selling. Uh, and I, that's something I might do each convention, do like another original art cartoon. I uh, haven't decided on that. But there it is. Again, world's worst video. That's not a video. Video game collection. Appearing at a video game con this Saturday and this Sunday um, for display. Uh, if you want to come see it, that's where it'll be. And uh, if you're interested in me making a reaction video of, of you looking at it and um, maybe making some clever comments and putting it on my channel, I'm willing to do it.